Hello there everyone, it's Carol here from the Crafty Emporium. You know when you get those days where you're just like, <laughs> just don't know what to do, lost my mojo, and all the rest of it. Well, those are the days of getting prepared. So, I've, I've been going through my scraps again and they're driving me nuts. I mean, I'm saving like the stupidest little bits and pieces of paper that what am I going to do with that I mean just look what am I going to do with that so I'm going to make myself some hole reinforcers um because I've got two empty spaces in my pot so I thought right time to get the scraps out and do a little bit of punching and it's the sort of thing that you can do whilst you're watching television as well so uh, it's a bit of a mindless numb game but uh, at least you can get a load done so i've got a strip of paper got my little tiny hole punch and i'm just going to go along and just do a series of holes you just need to make sure that there's a space between each one so let's see how many we can get out of this and then I can get rid of all the excess and then that's a strip of paper out of my uh, scrap bag gone so here I've got a half inch circle punch and turn it upside down I'm going to centralize that hole in there punch now the good thing is, is that if you've got double-sided paper, very subtle declaration on the back of that, then you get double, double your money because you, you can then use either or side to attach to whatever it is you want to hold reinforcer on. And as you can see in my pot, I've already got a load of these already and I've tried to separate them into colours as well to make it easier to sort of match up with whatever it is that I'm making. So I can now officially throw that in the bin. Woo! Done! Okay, stupid scrappy little bit of paper. And to do exactly, oh sorry, I'm going to do exactly the same again. Let's go along, punching some random holes. And then punch the circle out. And then next to no time. Whoops. That one just shot off by the way, <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm saying, whoops. Okay, and I've got this bit over here. And the thing is, because they're so small, the pattern is sort of insignificant, really. There we go, that's another piece done and dusted. So, with only in a matter of minutes, I've got some whole reinforcers and I'm just going to work my way through this little pile and make myself a load. Uh, I'm coming back in a moment with another idea. See you in a second. So I've finished punching out my hole reinforcers, so I've now got a whole pile of them. But also, the other thing that I've done with this little contraption that I've got, which you can get easily off eBay, is in the bottom there's a little tray. And in the tray, it stores all the little tiny circles that you punch out the middle. So I save those as well sometimes, because they can make... Um, good little fillers for when you're making shaker cards and stuff so um so you've already got your homemade confetti so to speak so that's those now done now the other thing that i like to do sometimes as well because i realize that you know not everyone can afford to buy leaves um 
your, your budget might be limited. I mean, I've got loads of leaves that I've purchased, but I also sometimes like to make my own to use up some of my scraps, and I do that using my circle punches. So this is a one and a half inch, and this, yeah, one and a half inch, and this is about a one inch. So I'm going to show you with the one and a half inch just because it's bigger and it's easier to see. So I just basically cut out a circle. Come on out. There we go. And then I've got these little tabs here that are already pre-sticky so they're, they're like little post-it notes and I just stick it on the back so now I've got something to hold on to because trying to hold on to the circle can be quite fiddly. So then I insert that back into the circle punch but I only insert it so far. I tilt it so you can see. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off four sides of the circle. Alright, so one and now I've got a leaf. So let's do number two. Move this round. I might only get three out of this. Let's have a look, see. Because you can insert it just a little bit or a lot. A little one in fact I might have enough up there to hold on to and four so I've now got four leaves Oop. so I've now got four leaves from one circle and of course, the centre of that, <laughs> waste not, want not. We can get a whole reinforcer out of it, probably. So there you go, from one, one and a half inch circle, waste not, want not four leaves and a whole reinforcer another item that I like to have to hand as well and again I go through all my scraps pick out bits of paper is I like to have a series of punched tabs ready uh, so as you can see I have uh, quite a few of these plastic boxes get them off eBay quite easily and cheaply um, and I like to have a selection of tabs already punched out now I'm lucky very lucky in that I own one of these and it's a stamping up tab punch these are as rare as hen teeth I'm afraid so I've worked out another little way you can do these on an envelope punch board as well but not everyone has got one of those but I've got a scrap of paper here and I'm going to fold it about one and a half to two inches thereabouts I'm not measuring can't be bothered and then get me circle punch tip it upside down and then I'm going to put the folded edge into the circle punch but what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put it all the way in so as you can see look there's a gap here all right so that I'm leaving the folded edge untouched and then punch it out So that I end up with that okay I'm going to put the folded edge back into the circle punch and just like the leaves I'm just going to chop a leaf shape off the edge here so I'm going to line it up with this point where the fold is so I'm just going to put it in and just do if you can see that a tiny little leaf punch Whoop. and the same on the other side okay so I've just spun it round and again lining it up with this point here where the fold is I'm just going to try and do a tiny little 
Okay, so that's what it then looks like and obviously it opens up. Now if we have a look at this shape, the actual tab punch, it's got these little dinks. You see those, these little dinks in the corners? So what I'm going to do is close it back up again and then just with a pair of scissors I'm just going to very carefully cut around a little arch shape around that corner to just soften it a little bit now again you could use a um a round edge corner punch to do that and it just helps to soften it up and i've now got that little bit there another staple that i like to have in um to, to be handy for decorating is punched butterflies so again i have a selection of those now i'm going to be using some of my stamping up products that i've got so i'm going to use this butterfly gala um, and i like to use the basic gray uh, ink pad i don't like them when they're black and i'll show you one that i did that was black um, because I just felt that it was too stark whereas the grey gives it a slightly more subtle hint about it of it being coloured up um, and the nice thing is is that if you do this on top of decorative paper then you haven't got to colour it in now if you are going to colour it in so like this one is done on plain white card then you will need to use a permanent ink because these are water based so you'll need to use something like one of your archival inks and then once the ink is dry you can then colour it in um, and it won't disturb the ink pattern so I'm going to use this one so again it's something that's not going to use a lot of brain power so if I position that on there and again I'm just using up some of my scraps of paper so it's a good way of um, using them up <laughs> my magnets broke <laughs> so powerful that they uh, they jumped against another one and it just broke it in half so I just ink that up and stamp that on there yep happy with that if I had a bigger piece of paper I could just line up all the butterflies from out of the stamp and just print them all in one go so then I'll use my punch and line it up and I've now got some pretty little butterflies now this piece of paper that I'm using actually isn't big enough to stamp another one on and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the punch itself and just punch some random butterflies over the, out of the paper that's left. Because they don't always have to be stamped. So out of that scrappy one bit of paper So out of that scrappy piece, I've got two large butterflies and three smaller ones. My last little tip for this video is that you might want to ink up the edges of these butterflies or any sort of put small punches and die cuts and you've got your dibby dabby dobby and you try and ink it up and sometimes it's really difficult to get into those really tight spaces so what I found is you know how you use these to put your eyeshadow on you can actually purchase these and you can get these on Amazon and so I just add some ink onto there hold it with a set of tweezers and it just means now 
that I can get into these little delicate pieces a lot lot easier to ink them up and then I can use the flat of it to just do around the other edges so that's my handy little tip is to actually use an eyeshadow applicator and it just helps to ink up the edges of slightly more delicate pieces so you can put ink on the very tip of it as I've done there or you can put it on the flat to be able to do the slightly larger edges and I use these on a lot of my fiddly um, die cuts uh, punched pieces and anything that I fussy cut out as well I use these for that purpose so that's my handy little tip for this video um, I hope that you found it useful to get you motivated to use up some of your scraps and uh, looking forward to seeing what you end up creating I always think it's handy to have a selection of these bits and pieces ready as you will see in another set of videos coming up very soon thanks for watching bye